A man once blacklisted from the silver screen is making a return. He is Dalton Trumbo, one of the most famous screenwriters of all time. A new movie chronicling his life is set to be released later this month. But before heading to the theater, NBC 15's Amy Flugsop shows us how Trumbo has a tie to Madison. We're going into the film vault, and this is uh, an area not many people get to come into. Tucked in the basement of the Wisconsin Historical Society, the Wisconsin Center for Film and Theater Research, or the WCFTR, has quite the collection from Hollywood. Have you ever seen Party Husband? No. It's a place you can get lost in figuratively and literally. But lucky for us, assistant director Mary Hillsbeck has no problem navigating it. The strengths of our collection are uh, Hollywood between 1930 and 1960, the American theater of the 1940s and 1950s and American television from 1940s into the 1970s. Among all this video, we have 20,000 motion pictures, television shows, and videotapes in our collection. There are plenty of gems many of us have never seen telling the untold stories of Hollywood. You kind of pick up a file and you never know what's going to be in it. Jeff Smith is a professor of communication arts at UW Madison. He spent his career studying post war American cinema, music and film, and the Hollywood blacklist particularly Dalton Trumbo, who donated many items to the WCFTR. It's a rather extensive collection, more than 40 boxes. It includes contracts that he had, uh, letters that he wrote and received from um, producers, screenwriters, family members. And even though Smith's research spans nearly 30 years. This is a folder I'd, I'd never gone through. He still finds something new about Trumbo. Uh, he was um, very talented, but also had the ability to work very quickly. His films include Spartacus and Roman Holiday. You know, we can't go running around town with a hot princess. You want in on this deal, or don't you? Which were big hits at the box office. Another film, Our Vines Have Tender Grapes, is based in Benson Junction, Wisconsin. He became the highest paid screenwriter in Hollywood, earning $75,000 per script. Despite that, things took a turn in 1947. Some believed Trumbo had ties to the Communist Party. Trumbo then was suspected for this, you know, very subtle insinuation that he was uh, injecting his own political agenda into the films that he wrote. And they were declared to be in contempt of Congress. This led to an appearance in front of the House Un-American Activities Committee of Congress. They were tried and declared guilty. They appealed their cases to the higher courts, and their appeal was denied. All ten are now in federal prison, serving one-year sentences. But Trumbo didn't go down without a fight. He sold his scripts on the black market, even winning awards under fake names. All of those guys are Trumbo. <laughs> One project, three different pseudonyms. So, And you kind of get the feeling he's, he's sort of having fun with, with this. And the fun seems to continue as Trumbo is getting the last laugh from beyond the grave. Congress has no right to investigate what we think or how we make movies. 68 years after his prison sentence and 39 years after his death, Trumbo will once again be on the big screen. I am perpetually. In Madison, Amy Flukesop, NBC 15 News. Whisper. Pretty interesting. And in 1960, the blacklist ended, and coincidentally, the WCFTR was founded. Trumbo, the movie, is set to be released on Thanksgiving and is rated R.